Running into the error applying virtual switch properties issue in Hyper-V? In this video, I'll guide you through fixes to resolve it quickly. Open the Run dialog with Windows plus R. In the Run dialog window, type PowerShell and hold the keys Control plus Shift plus Enter. This opens the elevated PowerShell window. In the PowerShell window that opens, enter the below command to reset the network connection and hit Enter NetCFG DNow reboot the server. After that, open the Virtual Switch Manager in Hyper-V and check if the error resolves. Open the Run dialog with Windows plus R. In the Run dialog window, type PowerShell and hold the keys Control plus Shift plus Enter. This opens the elevated PowerShell window in the in the PowerShell window that opens, enter the below command to change the name of the network adapter, where name of the switch is the name of the switch to be created. This is how the name displays in Hyper-V. Name of network adapter is the name of the network adapter that is to be associated with the switch. For example, if you want to create a switch named QoS switch over your wired Ethernet connection one, then the command should be open the virtual switch manager in Hyper-V and check if the switch is listed. Hold the keys Windows and R to open the Run Terminal window, type dvmgmt.msc, and hit Enter. In the Device Manager window that opens, scroll down and double-click on Network Adapters. Right-click on the required Network Adapter, and click on Update Driver. In the Update Drivers window, click on Search Automatically for Drivers. System searches, and you will be notified of any updated drivers are found. Follow the on-screen instructions and update the drivers. Open the Virtual Switch Manager in Hyper-V and check if the error resolves. Hold the keys Windows and R to open the Run Terminal window. Type dvmgmt.msc and hit Enter. In the Device Manager window that opens, scroll down and double-click on Network Adapters. Right-click on the required Network Adapter and click on Update Driver. In the Uninstall Device window, tick the Delete the Driver software for this device. Click on the Uninstall button. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the uninstallation process. Restart the system and check if the system installs the default Wi-Fi driver. You can verify this by opening the Device Manager and clicking on the button Scan for hardware changes as shown below. Check if the disconnection issue resolves. Open the Virtual Switch Manager in Hyper-V and check if the error resolves. Open Run Dialog using Win plus R, type NCPA8CPL, and hit Enter. In the appearing window, right-click on your network adapter, choose Properties. In the Properties window that opens, go to Sharing tab. Tick on Allow Other Network Users to connect through this computer's internet connection. Click on the OK button. Now, open the Virtual Switch Manager in Hyper-V and check if you still see the error. That's all. Thanks for watching. If it helps, make sure to hit like and subscribe.